Cheers, folks. Or as Lumberg would have said, yeah. If you could just come in on Sunday, too, that would be great. Thanks. One of my favorite movies. Anywho, today's video is on ASIO. What is it? Um, it stands for Audio Stream Input Output. It is a Steinberg protocol. It is not a specific driver. It is a protocol on how a driver should be written. So, And the purpose of it was to bypass uh, all the Windows nonsense, if you will, the operating system, and be able for an application uh, to bypass Windows nonsense and go directly to the sound card. So consequently, in an ASIO driver, that's why you can't play things back in Windows uh, through, uh, through shall, I, shall I say, traditional Windows programs um, like Media Player or what have you. Um, uh, it's, it is literally meant to talk to an application that understands ASIO, so let's just say Nuendo in my case. Uh, or whatever DAW that you happen to use, Pro Tools, doesn't matter. Uh, whatever su DAW support ASIO, which is majority of them, uh, if they want to survive anyway. So again, Steinberg uh, out of Germany wrote that. Um, it is it's Steinberg now owned by Yamaha, but still, uh, uh, you know, one of the, the grandfathers of of, uh, of heavy metal, uh, the grandfathers of of basically the entire DAW industry, uh, if you will. Um, but yeah, it's so it's nothing more than a protocol, guys. So it, it's uh, there is no uh, magic to it. It's it's just the ability again for uh, the for the people writing the drivers. So let's just say you buy um, a Focusrite uh, interface. I don't know, pick an interface, any interface. So when they write a, an ASIO driver for their hardware, what it's meant to do is is it has to uphold the ASIO standards. Uh, you know, that was written in the protocol, so that way the DAW can speak to it, and then it will write, uh, speak directly, input output, right, in out, uh, directly to its own hardware. Now, I have personally <laughs> seen, and I'm sure you guys have experienced and probably seen, that some ASIO drivers from certain corporations are written far better than others. And uh, what I mean by that is, if you see blue screens, obviously that's a really poor written driver. Um, if you're seeing um, uh, more latency out of one type of interface versus another, that is a more poorly written driver or a better written driver, depending on uh, which side of that coin you're going to look at. So when I evaluate interfaces, I'm always looking for... Uh, for not just the sound quality, obviously it has to sound good in most interfaces by most manufacturers do. Um, you know, it, it, yeah, you can obviously sit there and the ones that are, you know, folks that are picky and, and, uh, and really want super, 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 you know, high end. Okay, I get it. But at the end of the day, I mean, just about anything you pick up today is going to record because your, your, your customers are going to rip it down to a 128K MV3 probably and play it in their car. Uh, which means they just won't hear the difference. I go mental with it, but whatever. We've we've been through that road many times in many of my videos. So um, yeah, so that that standard. So uh, I'm going to talk about blue screen because I had mentioned it before. Just uh, you know, a little sidebar to this. You know, what is a blue screen in Windows? Um, <clears throat> which, by the way, today is far less uh, happens far less, and and there's there's reasons why that happens. So first of all, blue screen means that in in any operating system, I'm putting my glasses down so I can use my hands to talk. In any OS, uh, you have rings, uh, and they, they call it rings. So they're they're programming rings. So think about this, all right? So your body, your body, you've got a heart in the middle, and it's a pretty critical organ, right? Kind of keeps you alive. And then you've got you know muscle around that, and you've got a rib cage. Then you've got um, a cartilage that keeps the rib cage together, and then you've got your skin and and uh, you know all the other fun stuff that goes with it, and then of course if you play contact sports, you're wearing pads to protect that. So there's multiple rings, multiple layers of protection against that core. So operating systems work the same way. Um, the core, think of it as.